Welcome back to the channel and a new video. We do not want to keep you waiting on the Porsche content. Everybody went absolutely crazy in the comments section on this one and we can't wait to get on with it as well. We know it's been sat for donkey's years. There's loads of little jobs to do to it. In the last video, we got it running. We'll include that now. Come, yes, come on. You're getting over excited there and couldn't be happier. Yeah, guys, it's just been sat for quite a long time. You can see it's absolutely rotten. And even under the bonnet, all down the gaps, we need to crack on with this one. And also, I think, there we go. Now the windows are all dropping down. Somebody did say about resetting the battery. So put it on it, Rob, set the alarm, leave it five minutes, then unlock it. And sure enough, that was exactly right, whoever that was, thank you. Because now the windows all open and all close perfectly on the buttons. Yeah, an absolute joke in here. A lot of you are worried about the health hazard of that steering wheel. But we're going to crack on with it. We, got, we need to get the wheels done, need to get the tyres done, need to get it clean. There is so much to do with this one. So let's get on with it. So all the way around the whole car there with a the crack bar, just cracking off all of the wheel nuts that actually turned out to be quite loose. And then we're out with a jack, got the battery gun there as well, make life a bit faster. And four axle stands, of course, placing them where they're not going to cause any damage underneath the car. So on nice solid points under the suspension, all four wheels up in the air, round with a nut gun. And the only wheel that was a bit stiff is this front near side one. You can see me kicking it. And I had to turn I'm going to go and get these dropped off in a minute. And I know I need to get two dropped off. Chris is currently working over the back there on that V60. And I know the two front wheels are curbed up, so we'll take them as well. It is a shame about these that they was left flat. Look at the tread on them. That one there is definitely a brand new tyre. But it'd be nice to try and find a date on it. 96? No, that can't be the date, can it? I'd like to find a date on it. I don't think that one's that old. You can see that one's good. That one's good. Again, that one's all right. But look at the cracking in it. They're toast. So we're going to have to have four new tyres for it. We'll get them dropped off and then we'll carry on with this one. The wheels all come off very easy. The bolts were very, very loose. But this one here was a little bit stuck. You can see where I kicked it. You've got a bit of debris on the floor. I think it'll all clean up pretty nice though, won't it? Especially with those low mileage on it. What's this, 20, 27,000, I think, or 26,000. Yeah, we'll see how we get on. Let's get these wheels dropped off first. Guys, that is the wheels dropped off. They're gonna be a couple of days. And we have also ordered a load of stuff for this car. So it's just gonna be, hopefully we're gonna get quite a lot of it done. I've just got out that chemical again, and I've just sprayed up under one of them arches before I cut in just so that I can clean that and compare it. But what I'm actually gonna do, it needs doing anyway. See where the roof's stitched all the way across there. But actually we're gonna do the other side. Don't know why I said that side, cause this side's worse. So you see where that stitching is there. I'm actually gonna concentrate and just clean that patch there. This is really, really hard and crispy, but I think it's gonna come up quite nice. And then if it does, we just move on and do the rest of it. But you can see halfway across the roof there, that half's not really that dirty. So I'm assuming that side was up against the wall at some point and this side was exposed. But I'm going to spray that up, leave it for a minute and then we'll rinse it off and then compare it. But I'm going to make it wet first just so that the product so soaks in there with it. Hopefully that's not zoomed in too far. I don't want to get it soaked. I just, I mean, I, I want to get it wet, but I don't want to cover the whole roof because we want to compare it after. When I was doing the boat video, a lot of you said, you want one of them pump spray bottles, Rob? And it wasn't until I read the comments, I was like, yeah, we got one of them. And I wasn't using it, silly me. Right, we'll let that soak in for a couple of minutes and then we'll rinse it off. Honestly, I think it's gonna come up like new. Right, here goes nothing. I'm gonna turn my mic off for a minute though, cause that'd be really loud over there. Right now it doesn't even matter 
It's too late not to let it go. And that's why I wish you the best and say goodbye. We start to get dressed and then we cry. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt. But not as much as this does. We had a good run. Don't say we didn't. I was your first love. And you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies, yeah. Promise I won't forget. Maybe it's something in the water. Or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go. And that's why I wish you the best to see. I knew it was going to come up like that. I know there's a lot of opinions out there about um, jet washing soft top roofs, but I've had a, quite a lot of convertibles and I've never had any problem jet washing the roof. And once we have cleaned that and this car's on its way out the door, we'll treat that as well. It, it, it is literally fine, in my opinion, to jet wash a soft top. You don't want to be pushing right against it and damaging it, but it is fine to wash it. And I think them results speak for their self. I knew it was going to come up nice. I'm going to crack on and get the rest of it done. Kick it the other way. So just spraying up the rest of the roof there and just rinsing it off with the steam cleaner. I have to whip off here, go in and get one of Chris's um, oak blocks. There we are, six foot for the first time ever. Just getting the rest of the uh, roof cleaned off there before we make a start on the actual car itself. But I think the whole roof, it speaks for itself. It has come up lovely. And I know I've repeated myself quite a bit and said I knew it would, but I've just, I've done them before and they always come up really, really nice. Certainly looks a lot different now, guys. A complete transformation. Even the back window, you can see through that now, and all that is is just the water that's run off of it. How much better does that look? Of course, I'm even going to shampoo this when I give the whole car a proper good wash and a polish. But look at it. I, I just knew it was going to come up like that. And then under here, who would have thought that? Them brake calipers are actually blue or grey. They are like a bluey grey colour. Someone's going to tell me in the comments exactly what colour that is. But look, just a quick rinse off underneath there. Look how nice it all come up. Unbelievable. And of course it looked like that before, but all these aluminium bars, they all come up lovely. Look at that brake caliper. You would not think that underneath that, yeah, it's definitely blue. Unbelievable. And the back ones as well. Look how dirty it all is in here. I'm going to go around and do all them and then I think we're just going to give this a wash. We might as well give it a clean. No water inside it. For anyone worried about water leaking, you can see there's no water on the seats there. Right, if only you could smell how disgusting that roof smells, all of that green running off there. It stinks. Let's go around and do all four corners and then give this one a bit of a wash. So just going around all four corner arches there again, I have tried various different products, just trying to get those calipers up so that they look like new, but you could see it there on camera how nice that come up under that wheel arch. And this genuinely is coming up beautiful underneath here with such lovely low mileage. We always knew it was gonna come up nice, but that really did shock me. And you could clearly see there was a huge difference there with just a bit of spray and some water on there. I was just doing a bit of trial and error there really with some different chemicals just trying to get it up all nice but look at that that's actually the worst one off it well the other side's a lot nicer but i've just put some of the multi-purpose cleaner on there i'll put a link for it in the description down below and of course the tfr that's the back one again that's going to want doing again you can still see some up here and i think once i've put the multi-purpose on it 
or some stronger TFR that will all rinse off. That's the side I've just done with the TFR and you can tell it's a lot different, isn't it? It looks a lot, lot better. I'd like to get all these up really nice. And then that one, I'd say I've probably spent the most time on it and tried a couple of different bits. But really, really looks brilliant. The discs and pads and all that, they've all got to be changed anyway, haven't they? I was thinking about maybe giving it a wash now, but I think probably for the best is to blow out all of this first. Otherwise, I'm going to wash it and then end up with all of this debris all running down it again and it will need rinsing off. A lot of this under here is going to have to be done by hand, but we can certainly get rid of that lot, can't we? Look at it. <laughs> oh, at least you can stand the wipers up on this one without them hitting the bonnet. It really has been unloved, hasn't it? Yeah, let's get rid of all the all around the shuts. We'll do that first and lift the bonnet up. And of course, the, the boot lid as well. So just to rinse off that windscreen and all of the shuts, getting all of the loose debris that's left, it's not going to come up immaculate until I get in there with a cloth, but just to get all the loose stuff off so that when I rinse it off, it don't all keep running down the car, because believe it or not, it's like never ending if you don't clean it all out. Bit of snow foam, spray that on, and we'll leave that to soak. Guys, don't forget, I'm not a detailer, and a lot of you in the past have actually given me advice in the comments, and of course... I will always listen, so don't be horrified, any detailers out there, I do do my best. So I went round, I've done all four corners with the wheels off. I've gone round and done all the shuts and rinsed everything off of the car. Any loose debris has all been blown off. Then I've put this foam cannon over it, with the um, Jenny Chem snow foam. I've put that over it and I've let that soak in. Well, you can see how long it's been soaking in, it's nearly come off. So I'm now going to rinse that off and I've knocked up some um, hot water with some shampoo and I'm going to give it a good wash and then rinse it off again and see how we get on. But it just looks like a completely different car already, if I'm honest. Oh, I can't believe it. And I definitely, I mean, that just reassures us under there, doesn't it, of the mileage on this car. I just can't believe it. It is still like, no, it's such a shame it sat for so long because they're actually good discs, but we're not going to leave them on there. I tried cleaning them up, going up and down the yard. They probably would clean up, but do you know what? For the price of them, it's just not worth it. Let's just swap it all out. Right, let's rinse that off and then give it a good hand wash. I've got all the proper wash mitt. I've got the bucket with the grit guard in the bottom of it, so... We're all good, let's do it. So just a quick rinse off with a jet, jet wash, rinse off that snow foam that's eating into everything. A nice hand shampoo there with some hot water, just getting all of the marks. And I think job is a good one. Look at the difference. So I'm not gonna to talk to you all anymore with the washing of it. We've got plenty to be getting on with, but Chris has just walked out. Mate, what do you reckon? Yeah, looking lots better isn't it lots better yeah um few marks around it but with that mileage and the condition of everything it warrants having them done doesn't it yeah can you see that in the bottom of that driver's Do, oh, door i now? can yeah i, I can. couldn't see that um, until there's, we've a little, there's also a little bit by that door handle oh, i see it see him? yeah um, you've walked away and i've got the the mic here yeah, yeah i see that a little tiny dig there. I'm zoomed in way too close there. A little, little tiny one there. Yeah. Bit on that. Bit of rash on that door there. Yeah. Shame, isn't it? It is but a shame. It does definitely warrant having all the paintwork done. Yeah. Purely think... down to. I mean, it's come up lovely, hasn't it? Oh yeah. Look how nice the back of that looks now. And I have blown out the shuts on that as well. Well, actually, would you mind just yeah. There's, there's going to be a lot that I yeah. need to pick up. Yeah. And of course, you can't odd to get in a bit of water in there because I blew it all off. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. I'm going to continue on and actually get this cleaning all finished. 
I know the cleaning videos can get a bit repetitive and uh, well the clean ups on a car so I'm not going to actually recall too much of it guys but I know we've got that new Karcher steamer and I would like to obviously just share the experience together see if it's see how good it is and just do like maybe the door panel and then I can continue on and do the rest of the car without filming it. I've let this get hot for a little while and I've put bacterial cleaner. I uh, don't really know where to start. Well, that's a game changer isn't it I've probably got that up a little bit too high though but that has got that off and of course it is antibacterial as well so like I said it'll probably get a bit repetitive I won't film too much of it but I will crack on and get it done let's bring that a little bit closer and just do a patch on that steering wheel Probably a little bit too close that, isn't it? Let's turn that down a little bit. Yeah, now we're talking. That's getting all that off easy, isn't it? Right, let's get on with it. So like I said, I'm no professional, but I am doing my best here, and I'm sure even just to get some of it off, it's gonna be a huge improvement. I am gonna try various different products on these seats because I tried the steamer, it didn't really do a lot. So we're gonna try a couple of different products and see how we get on with it. honestly this is coming up beautiful this car inside it really is coming up nice look at that steering wheel now it is a shame to put the mat in because the mat has got quite a nice white patch on it nasty white patch and it actually wants the mat's gonna want washing properly but i don't want to stand on that lovely carpet without a mat on it so you can see just there just where the foot's been resting and then on this chair you can see I've done test patches where I've been using different products. So I cleaned them all up, wiped them all over, got all the mold off. I've got all of the mold off everywhere that I can. Seat belt. You can see I've cleaned all that up as well. So that's all nice. But the seats, I do want to clean them. And I've just been going through all the different products that we've got. This has got a light patch on it anyway. That one has where people have got in and out. A lot of people did say... Why is that seat like that and it's only done their miles? And 
you know, it's been exposed to the weather and the chap did use his car, but he only done a mile to work and a mile home in it. So regardless of how far he went, he still got in and out of it every day, didn't he? But we will have these colonised and that will be the last job we have done. But I'm not going to film any more of me actually cleaning up this car. I'm just going to concentrate on doing it off camera. I've had a quick vacuum out in the boot, but you can see the carpet's got to come out and be cleaned. Same again, under here, just a quick vacuum out, but it all wants to come out and be done nicely, doesn't it? We have ordered all of the parts for this one, so service kit, brake discs, pads, the wheels are over having a refurb, the tyres are on order. So I think we're going to leave it there today, because not all the bits are here, and we want to just crack on with it and get it done straight away as soon as all the bits have arrived. So unfortunately, that is the end of today's video. If you did enjoy it, as usual, please do hit that thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. And of course, it shows your appreciation. You can follow us on Instagram at Selvage Rebuilds. You can follow Chris on his personal Instagram at Selvage Rebuilds Chris. Like, subscribe and share. And we'll see you very, very soon in the next one.